Tamily. We are about to start our 10th Ask Tamily interview, and our guest today is going to be Chandra. Her um, Instagram name is Chandra for Tam, and um, she should be joining in a moment. Um, as a reminder, we have questions planned for all the interviews, but you guys are welcome to um, ask questions live as well. And I am inviting Chandra now to... So this is always the most critical moment of when the connection comes through. And it's Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hi! How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you for joining us. I have um, our questions ready. And... Um, we will also, if anyone watching wants to ask questions, I'll scroll through at the end um, and see any questions they might have for you also. We're getting a lot of hellos, too. Yeah, my mom even joined. Hi, Mom. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, let's jump right in with our first favorite question, yep. which is, when and how did you start the Tracy Anderson Method? Yeah, so back in 2014, um, I was actually getting ready to get married, and I was working with a trainer friend that I met through IC. She's a she's a Tamar, and she and I went to high school together. Oh! And she told me about her friend Leslie, who was a trainer, so I was meeting with Leslie, and I told Leslie that one of my biggest goals was to get my arms more defined because my dress was strapless. And she's like, oh, have you ever tried Tracy Anderson arms? She's famous for her arms. And I'm like, no, I haven't. So I started following her on Facebook and started doing some of her YouTube stuff with, with her arm videos. And um, then on Facebook one day, a few months later, I saw that she was coming to San Francisco. Tracy was doing a vitality week in San Francisco in May. And I'm like, happy Mother's Day to me. So I bought myself the weekend and went to San Francisco. I had never done her method, and I started with an in-studio Vitality Weekly. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, and I was with Roz um, and Audrey okay. and Autumn. I met all them there. Oh, my God. I was so sore, I literally couldn't roll over in bed. I had to have my husband help roll me because... I was, I was trashed for those three days. I was absolutely trashed. Evan was our cure, and so she was awesome. Um, and I just fell in love, and I'm like, you know what? This is something that I think I can do because I have vertigo, and so I really struggle um, when I get my heart rate up too high with, like, different plane movements like burpees and stuff. And uh -huh. I found myself able to do Tracy and make oh. it through the workouts. So. Fast forward now to her new MCs that are like twisty, flippy, turny, and I have to do IMC most of the days because um, the advanced is just too hard on my vertigo, but that's how I got started. Awesome. Yeah. That is quite the story. I don't know that most people <laughs> yeah. have uh, ever started in the Vitality Week. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Um, and you kind of talked a little bit about this, but why did you choose Tracy Anderson over other fitness yeah. methods? Um, I've worked out my whole life. I'm sure a lot of you saw my transformation post. So um, back in 2007, uh, I started back to find myself after many years of, of that first marriage where I put on a ton of weight. And um, I ended up losing 145 pounds and just consistently stayed exercising, but it was mostly, um, like I did step aerobics and I did, um, you know, worked with trainers at gyms, just really more traditional workouts. But I always struggled with feeling dizzy or feeling, you know, off or whatever because of, um, many, many, many years of vertigo. So when I found Tracy, I was like, I can do this and it's not, um, it's not hard, hard for me to handle. So awesome. Um, so I know that, you know, you've posted your transformations and yeah. you've had lots of results. What yeah. have you really felt like has come from the Tracy Anderson method results wise for you? Um, definitely a change in my shape. So when I turned 44, June of 2017, 
I said, you know what, because from the time I did the Vitality Weekend 15 through 17, I was, I've always struggled with consistency. That is absolutely my biggest problem is motivation and consistency. And I remember thinking to myself, here I met all these amazing people in 2015, and a year later in 2016, I'm looking at Roz's you know, Instagram, and she's, because she had just recently started Tracy um, before the Vitality Week as well, so... And just seeing how her body had changed, I'm sitting there going, damn it, Chandra, like if you had done this consistently, you could look, you know, like Roz now. But I just still, even from 20, I even went and met with Roz again in San Francisco before she moved. And I was like, what do I do? Like, I got to get myself back on track. And so fast forward a year later, again, to my 45th or 44th birthday. And I'm like, damn it, I'm still not consistent. So I committed to one year. I was like, I'm going to do one year consistent Tracy and see what my body can do by the time I turn 45. So I did, I started and you'll see <clears throat> my body changed totally. And people are like, Oh my God, you're looking so strong. Like your arms are defined and blah, 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 blah. And I just really saw what <clears throat> I wanted. Like, you know, Meredith is my body goal girl. Like, if I could have a dream body, it would be MLM Tam for all you guys. She's huh? yes. freaking amazing. So, um, and that's what I, you know, wanted to see what my body could do. And I did super, super consistent all the way to, like, the holidays. And then I started to, you know, struggle a little. And then I broke my wrist early in 2018. And that just floored me. And yeah. Oh, mom, thanks. I changed from Crosby <laughs> to Marilyn Monroe. Thanks, mom. <laughs> so, um, so I, I just was like, now I'm kind of back in my consistency struggle since breaking my wrist. So, you know, that's, that's what I have seen that I can do. And I know I still didn't even get to where I could have been. I was almost there, right? Like I, I got really close and my wrist totally derailed me, but uh, I'm, I'm working on getting back to where, you know, yeah. I want to be, so. Well, and, you know, especially, like, through these interviews and as we get to know people in the family, like, everyone has those things that happen. Like, yeah. it's not, you can just do this method for this certain amount of time and then everything's perfect. And, right. you know, we all go through, like, these ups and downs and definitely injuries I, are, you know, a really important part to get through. But yeah. we'll definitely get back there. I know. I know I will. Um, so kind of on that note, who do you feel like in the Tamley inspires you, you know, and kind of helps motivate? I actually literally had to sit and make a list because there's so many. So um, there's three that are always like my cheerleaders that are always really positive and affirming and, and kind of motivate me personally, like they leave me little notes and that's Molly, Augie and Rebecca. They are all just super, super like, great job. You're looking great. Uh -huh. like I said, Meredith has my body goals. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany is like my favorite no fucks given girl. Like put your, you know, fishnets and red lipstick and just, she's love it. Loretta is my badass motivation. Like she is just God, like that girl she, you know, the whole MC and then extra DC. And I'm like, hey, yes. dude, are you just, can you not be so perfect, right? <laughs> Audrey, one of the girls I met at Vitality Week, she is just not only consistent, but Little Miss hot as shit with her bikini stuff going on. Oh, my God. Um, Donna, I, I adore her, and she's like my, yeah. my life goals, right? Like, I want to travel and do all the fancy pants mm -hmm. stuff and, so so blessed oh. you're my motivation with all your shirts so i'm a shirt oh. like i freaking love all of your shirts and your Thank consistency you. that just is like when i see that you've gone like six months without a day off i'm like how like how does i mean oh so jillian she's little miss funk in her positivity the uh, my career goal girl is obviously Julie because I'm an executive assistant and so I support people in my life and now she's working with Tracy and I've always yeah. wanted to be Tracy's personal assistant like I could just <laughs> totally go crazy and then there's just the true I mean all of you 
just consistency, Nicole and Lima and Christina and May, and then Icy and Lizzie, my two friends from high school. So I just have like literally that's what I do most mornings is I get up and I sit there and I watch, I like flip through Instagram and some days it's enough to get me up to, you know, uh-huh. get to work out and other days I'm like, yeah, no, I just want to sleep. So that's, that's where I really struggle. <laughs> but yeah, no, I so many. understand that. And I appreciate that, um, you know, I've been able to be consistent and healthy, motivating yeah. to people. But yeah. now I'm like relying on all of you because I don't know if you've seen a post recently. I've taken more rest days in the last three weeks than all of 2017. But you were like <laughs> moving and stuff. So, yes. And right. I have a new job and I'm traveling. But it's right. like, I know, it's hard. Oh my gosh. And, you it's know, it's funny hard. because you think. Well, once you get that thing that makes you a daily workout person, like, it you sticks. won't lose it. And right. It's yeah, no. not, it's that's it. not the way yeah. it is. It's a struggle that's every day. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I know. Well, like, like when you and Nicole and I did those couple workouts together, like, that's what I want. I wish I had a buddy. Like, I even, because I started a new job two months ago, and I even posted to my whole fitness community at Google. And I'm like, are there any other Tracy fans? Like, I'll meet you at the gym, and we could do it together. And yeah. I, got, I got one response from someone that wanted to try it, but she's on a different campus. So, I, like... I, I so want an accountability partner that I can work out with, but right now I just have to find that in myself, so. Well, and I feel like as technology gets better, like, mm-hmm. with Instagram, you know, you can only have two people in a live right. stream, and right. when you do, it usually messes up. Like, we're yeah. lucky that it works yeah. out for the interviews. Yeah. Yeah. But as the technology can improve, I'm, like, it's just so fun to me if you can have, like, four people, mm-hmm. and you can see everybody, and then you can also, like, the Tamily could be watching you. So, yeah, you know, I yeah. cry out Instagram all the time about improving the technology. Yeah. But there are um, some new apps. Like, I actually worked for a startup for a little while called Airtime, where you can join okay. tons of people, and you all watch the same thing together. I don't know, if, like, and you can see each other on the screen, but I'm sure it's out there. Oh, Risa's doing it, too, now? I see no way. So, Risa was my, is my really good friend from high school and Icy's sister, and oh, wow. I know that she's doing it now, so. Very awesome. cool. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, another question, which we know the answer, but I want to hear about it, um, is have you ever met Tracy? I have. So, um, not only did I meet her at Vitality Week and uh, do the the whole weekend with her, but um, I'm the I feel like shit girl, and when I made that post and she commented and then uh, answered my questions in, in her Ask Tracy stuff. So um, I'm going to Vitality Week in two weeks in L.A., so oh. I can't wait to work out with her again. And I'm now scared to death because I'm not – I mean, this, this is where my negative self-talk kicks in, and I don't know if any of you, the rest of you have a lot of that, but I struggle with that too. Like, even though I'm not great – at my Tracy consistency right now, I'm not a brand new first timer. Like I did. Right. right? So obviously I'm going to do a little better than I did in 2015 when I'd never done her method. Like I know her method, know how to follow her. And so even though I keep telling myself, Oh my God, I'm going to die. Cause it's like, at least in San Francisco, the heat was off, the humidity was off. Right. So here I'm a brand new Tamar and there was no heat and humidity. Whereas in her studio, it's going to kick my ass. Like I do it yeah. here to a certain extent. Um, right. But thankfully I've been to that studio once when I was in LA a few months ago, I went and did a band's um, class. Oh. So I know the studio, I know what it feels like and stuff, but um, I'm really excited to, to talk to her and meet her again. And, you know, I have a couple more specific questions that I'm hoping she'll answer, but no, I'm, yeah. I'm, yep. I've met her in person once. She addressed me on Ask mm-hmm. Tracy, and now I'll meet her again. So That's awesome. You have yeah. to post about it a lot. I will. I will, for sure. Like, I always love to see that. And I think sometimes I people think, well, you know, I don't want other people to be like, oh, I wish I could do that too. But, yeah. like, if you don't want to see the post, just don't look, because I want to see right. all of them. Right. Exactly. Um, so... 
I know you've talked about how you've already been to a Vitality Week and you've been to the studio. Um, yeah. What can you tell some people about it who have never been to a Vitality Week or a studio? I would say just do it if you're able to. You know, like when I went the first time, I had... I really didn't know who she was. I had no insight into her method and how it can change you and what it can do. And it just, I was just like, screw it. I'm going to do it. Like I had done her arms this much, you know, to, to get ready for the wedding. And it's just, man, I, I love it. I connect to it. I feel great. Even though I'm dying, right. in some of the things it's like, I still just want to push through and, and do it. And the more I do it, the better I feel. And as soon as what I call the Tracy belt kicks in. So there's something about her method that after you do it a little bit, your, your waist just starts to go <laughs> and you can literally feel it from the inside, like tightening. And right. I actually asked my other friend, I'm like, have you felt the Tracy belt yet? Like, so when, when you're new to it, you, you'll get it. Like it just, even if it's just beginners, like I've done beginners a couple times now because like I said, I'm just trying to, yeah. I, I go to do some of the moves and my wrist feels like it's going to give, like it's still, I'm still getting yeah. it. But like I went, so this, this shocked the crap out of me. I started doing, um, the original Matt Arms series, because everyone talked about how yeah. that was like the killer arms. And I remember when I first started it, I couldn't even get through like the first four moves without the weights. Now, like I got to where I was doing it every day, the entire thing, all the way through without stopping. And I don't know, two weeks ago, I tried it again for the first time. And it was crazy hard, but I did the whole thing. I didn't yeah. have to put my arms down. And I was like, it's been like, six months since I did it the last time between my wrist and all the, all the other mm -hmm. stuff. And I was like, wow, I still have enough left, which shocked yeah. me. So I mean, yeah. even when you're new and you go to start, you can, you will get there faster than you realize. Our bodies are amazing. I mean, and that's what I have to remind myself all the time when that negative self talk kicks in. I've lost at one point, 145 pounds, right? I'm up 15 from my lowest, and I I sit there and I dwell on those 15, and I'm like, damn it, like I was in better shape. I was a little bit smaller. I have those shorts from Hawaii that I can't quite get back on yet. And then I'm like, Chandra, would you just knock it off? You're still down 130 pounds. Yeah. Like you were like, there are, I, I always believe that fitness starts in your head, right? That's it's not about is. what your body can do. It's about your mind. And right. I struggle with my mind, with depression, with negative self-talk, with that motivation, and oh, I want to just stay cozy in bed. So if if I can master the mind piece for me, it's almost like I, I think I'm afraid of what my body could do because I've seen how much I've done to it already and how far I've come that if I can master that. No, I haven't. I hate to read, I see, but I'll try. I have probably 30 books that I bought that I say, uh -huh. oh, I'm going to read this. Like, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can do that one. <laughs> so. Sounds like it might be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. If, you know, maybe we can like team up, read some stuff and share I would love it. with yeah. each other. Yeah. Oh, good that idea. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she said it's short, so that would be there good. Go. Short is good. <laughs> um, what would you say are some of the challenges that you have faced in actually doing the Tracy Anderson method? Yeah. For me, it's space. So all these girls with these dedicated Tam Caves, oh, my freaking stars, you're so blessed. Like... Having the right space, I think, is so important. I mean, there's been times where, although I look at Meredith and she's in her bathroom every day and she still rocks it. So I, I know, again, that's just another excuse. But, like, right now I have my bedroom set up as my Tam Cave. And um, my last house's bedroom had a lot more space and it was great. But now I'm, you know, in a smaller space. But I have my mat and I have my TV. and But having the space, I think, for me is one of the challenges. Um, the other challenge, biggest challenge for me is just the time, right? Like I'm either one of those 
early, early morning in order to get it done before I have to start my day and go to work, or it won't happen, because by the time I work all day, and then I do kid stuff after work, and then I'm, you know, just exhausted, I won't do it. I will not, I won't get it in, so I have to be one of those that gets up early and does it, and now that I go in um, to work, and Google has freaking amazing fitness, you know, facilities, oh, mom, I'm not moving to Florida. I'm not moving to Florida. <laughs> I know. Suzanne, see, Suzanne's in Tampa, Mom. My mom's yeah. in uh, West Palm Beach over in Stewart. Oh. Too hot and humid. Ugh. I just don't like it. <laughs> I know. Um, it's good for the method. I know. It's perfect for the method. I actually did it when I was at my mom's a couple times. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I, like, I even, I've even brought, I have two sets of weights, so I have one set of ankle weights and hand weights here in my room for when I do it at home. And then I brought my second pair of ankle weights and my, you know, beat everything. Yes. Just, I just have to get up and go. Like it's, you know, if I pack my bag at night and I set my alarm and I don't, you know, let myself even like second guess myself for a second and I get up and go, I do it and I feel great. I mean, I'm sure you've seen my couple like truly just couple mornings at Google in the fitness studio getting it done. And so it's just, it's a, it's, you know, I'm, it's constant self-talk to me, constant. Yeah. Yeah. And you just have to figure out how to like try to replace it with something positive. Right. And be able to do it. And obviously like none of us are experts, but that's why we want this stuff. So people that have significance, can definitely reach out. Yeah, for sure. Um, what do you feel like is something you've personally learned from Tracy? Oh, sorry uh, about that. No worries. <laughs> um, gosh, personally learned. To, to try and connect with my body. That um, I, I struggle with connecting with my body, and that's something that I always hear her say is, just listen to your body and connect to it. Mm-hmm. You know, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that's one point. And that's something I think too. Um, you know, we get better and better at as we mm-hmm. do this method more, and you yeah. realize, you know, like when you do a move, it's not yeah. just utilizing that arm or that leg that you're doing. It's right. like your body right. is part. Right. It's a totally to- That's something to me that's totally different than yeah. what I've and other exercises like I never had that experience right with other workouts and I love how she's taught me to be where I'm at right like this can be done if you're if you have 30 minutes or if you have three hours right and it can be done if you're a beginner and doing the really slow type of you know and just focusing on the angles and the forms and, um, you know, I think, I think hearing her say that power in each move, like just really reaching and those, those things of what have taught me, she's taught me the most is just to really pay attention. It's all in the details, right? It's not in how fast you're going or if you do all the reps or if you're wearing the weights, it's just in the positioning and the the motivate like the power behind the move, you know, right? So, yeah. Um, what is your favorite thing about the method? I think several things. So how what it what it can do to my body, like how it changes my body, um, how it makes me feel. I feel strong and sexy and healthy when I'm doing it consistently and the community like I mean it's the the community is so amazing it's also like hard on me sometimes to watch all the girls because then my you know negative stuff kicks in but I'm like there are some badass amazing women that this community has formed and it's it's pretty incredible it's, I think that's just, I mean, what it does for me personally is very different from what it's, how it's changing so many. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, I, I don't 
think there is another community that's like this. Like, no, I don't think so. No, it's it's very very unique, mm -hmm. and I mean, yeah. just so odd. Like thinking about the people that are t in totally different countries and yeah. connecting yeah. with each other and creating like yeah. real friendships. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. It really right. is. I know it's pretty crazy. Why is your workout personally important to you? I think for that inner mind body connection, I I need to continuously remind myself that I am strong and healthy and capable of so much more than my mind tells me I am. My body has proven my mind wrong so many times and I I need that continual reminder. I could be back where I was and miserable and huge and unhealthy and just, so that's, that is so crucial to me to remember that I will never be that person again. And this is what keeps me there. Even if I'm off it for six months, I've only changed by 15 pounds, not a hundred. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that's something that Tracy says too. You know, we're building this muscular structure. So even when we have weight to lose or we have weight that we gain back, we still right. have this muscular structure that we right. have worked to build. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, do you do dance and cardio? You know, I have bad knees. So that was one of the things that happened from being so heavy for so long. Um, in 2007 when I first started losing the weight and really getting myself into fitness I tore my meniscus and had surgery on it and then I also just have family history my dad had two knee replacements so every time I've tried to do real dance cardio I end up like not being able to walk upstairs my knee just can't handle it so I bought the Bellicon right I've got the whole trampoline thing going but you know now I don't use it as much as I should. And I know that that's one of those things that will help take me to the next level. So um, I'm definitely not a dance cardio girl, but I am I try and like put on Tracy's uh, trampoline, you know, videos and stuff. I bought that and it's just, she goes so fast that I haven't gotten the ability to, to do, to keep up. And so, you yeah. know, I, I should be doing more of that now while I'm still doing just shorter Tracy stints. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But. Well, and, you know, I, um, just in the spirit of full disclosure, I never do dance uh -huh. cardio properly, ever, ever. Like, I think I've done yeah. 40 minutes in a year. Uh -huh. But um, on the trampoline, that was something that, you know, I found really helpful too. And I would even do the other dance cardios, like especially the one from... Um, the original Metamorphosis. Oh, really? And do it on the plane. And it's like slower, and there's actually some moves where you're not really jumping. So it yeah. kind of helps to yeah. like build the, that ability to act like she does on the trampoline. Um, there was. So sometimes it didn't like make exactly, you know, the best sense on the trampoline, but it helped. Right. right. When I first started in, um, after my Vitality Week in 15, that's when streaming was just getting going and they weren't um, like when you go back in the history, it doesn't go back quite far enough, but there was one DC that Evan taught that I, I remember like, like it was yesterday and I could do it and it didn't hurt my knees. And I've, I've gone all the way back to the very beginning and I think it missed it by maybe like a month. And so oh it, it really bums me out because that was one that I remember doing in my old house and it didn't bother me that much but I remember like I remember some of the moves and I'm like oh, oh I wish like I wish that was there but there was a dance cardio I think last week where it was one of the intro like beginner ones and I was able to do that okay as long as there's not too many spins right like these people uh -huh. that go through these turns I'm like I get so dizzy <laughs> yeah and as long as it's not just total jumping like if, if it's yeah. if it's more like stepping and, and gliding and stuff I can do right. that yeah um, so as far as your muscular structure workout mm -hmm. um, how do you select BC, IMC or MC 
So I always watch the breakdowns first just to see how crazy the moves are. And not even not even crazy how many, you know, shoulder stands versus I'm on my stomach, then we roll like any of the ones where we lay straight back and she rolls, I'm out. Uh-huh. Like that just okay. takes that that takes that week out for me because there's just zero ability for my head to handle that. Um I tried beginners when I was first getting back in after my wrist, and it was still too easy. So that made me feel good. So I did do IMC, and that feels hard to me again right now still, um, whereas I was doing advanced, you know, that whole year when I was consistent in 17. So um, I think I'm probably going to be more of an IMC lane girl just because the advanced every week seems to have a lot of, twisty, turny, acrobatic stuff that my, my vertigo just can't handle. But yeah, um, there was one a couple weeks ago where the multitask was awesome and I could do that really well. Um, so I, I think, and remember, uh, Tracy posted a few days ago about the, if you can do this move and this move mm-hmm. that you're intermediate and if you can do it, yeah, easy, you're advanced. So I'm intermediate, like, I, I okay. could do both moves, but they weren't like, oh, this is no biggie, right? Like they were, yeah. they were hard. So, um, so I, I feel confident that I'm at an intermediate level, and if, if I get to more consistent, then I could, st- I could easily be advanced again, but mm-hmm. just not yeah. on the, not on the flippy dippy days. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think in general, like. With advanced, I feel like, you know, you have to have the right food. You have to have the right sleep. Like, that yeah. workout is a yeah. serious, serious workout. And yeah. it's not like the other workouts aren't all right. difficult. I mean, yeah. no, I know for sure. The beginners, you yeah. know? So. Oh, yeah. Well, and difficult in the sense that my muscles aren't strong enough to do it. Like I can do all the moves, but can I do all the reps? No, I'm right. burning and dying and I have to take a break. Right. So right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know these, these um, total rep girls that do all the reps with all the weights, like you, I am so not worthy. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. And then do you, 40 minutes of dance after, like, are you right. kidding me? <laughs> there's no way. Like there's so, yeah. time thought maybe right. I'll do a few minutes of dance cardio and I'll do like two minutes I'm like that's enough yeah like <laughs> if I didn't no have a job and didn't have kids and I could like do it all day and every day and get there like yeah I could but in a normal life I just I don't have the time I don't have the strength I don't have the energy yeah. like it's just you guys are rock stars so <laughs> but you know you just have to know that you know whatever you do if you know that you're selecting the best thing for you like you've really thought about it and you know you're not just thinking I'm just going to do beginners because it's easier and because it's shorter like you're really putting thought into it that's what matters I think that's one of the things Tracy said in the last couple of Ask Tracy's Uh like do the workout you know you can do when you can do it and don't feel bad not advanced exactly Yep. Um, so what do your friends and family think of the Tracy Anderson method? Well, my mom's on. She's watched <laughs> me a few times, and she will tell me that I need to do something differently. Or, you know, she's she has her strong opinions. And I love you, Mom. Um, my daughter actually started doing it with me for a while. And there's some posts on my Instagram from a long time ago where she and I were doing them together. And... She totally sees the value in it. Oh, good. Mom thinks it's great. Yay, Mom approves. Um, and I've really wanted her to, I told her I would get her the teen streaming if she wanted to try it. She's uh, 15 and a half. But she's a swimmer and loves her swimming. And, you know, I, I know that I'm doing my best to teach her the importance of finding something she loves that she can stick with and be consistent with just to be healthy. Um, and she's definitely her mama's girl and struggles with motivation. So we're, you know, we work on that together and I'll take her to the gym and, um, you know, do, do what we can together. But she's a swimmer and I, I used to be a swimmer, but that's something that I struggle with now because of my vertigo too. So I don't, I don't swim like I used to, but, um, 
she's she's a little mermaid in the water and just that's her that's her thing so I definitely don't want to push her to do what I love because again it's about right. finding what you like to do and sticking with it so exactly exactly yeah, yeah. Um, what is something that's important to you in your life that you would like to share with the family? Do everything you can to tell the negative voice in your head to just shut up and listen listen to what you know like your truth is. You you your body can do so much more than you think it can. And at the end of the day it's just choosing like that's that's been one of my new hashtags is I showed up for myself today because that's that's kind of where I'm at is yeah. I'm I'm working every single day to just show up for myself because I know I know I feel better I know I look better I know I'm healthier I know I'm stronger and I know what I can do so why shortchange myself by giving in to that whatever it is so yeah 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 um what is uh your job and where do you live so i live in san jose california um i've lived here lived in the bay area since i was little um i have every intention of moving away in a few years because the bay area i'm just kind of over i can't afford to buy a house i'm you know, traffic and every, all the greed yeah. and all the mean people. I'm just kind of over it. Um, but I'm here for a few more years till my daughter graduates. I work in Sunnyvale. I just started a new job at Google two months ago, and I'm an executive assistant. I've been a, a EA for 25 plus years, so I support executives and plan events and do their calendar and their travel and their, you know, track action items and meeting stuff and plan events. And so I, I love what I do. I truly, I am a, I'm a server, right? Like I, whether it's, you know, my kids or my husband or my boss or whatever, I genuinely enjoy taking care of other people to a fault, right? Like almost to a fault because right. I don't take care of myself enough. So that's, but I, I absolutely adore what I do. I love Google. It's, it's everything they say it is and more. It's just insane. The facilities and the perks and, you know, so there's, I have literally zero excuse of why to not get my workout in with, with all that I have at my disposal. So well, we're all super jealous of your new job. <laughs> on it. You can come have lunch with me any day. I can have a guest every day for lunch if I want. That is so cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. If I didn't live a six-hour flight from you, I, I would know. have to pick you up on that. I think we have an office in Florida, so next time I'm out there, we can go to that oh, office. Yeah. Get a lunch. That would be awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I gotta find out where that is. Cool. You do, yeah. Fantastic. Actually, no. Don't don't find out because then my mom will be like, "See, you can transfer here and still work." <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I know there was a couple of questions people had asked kind of oh, while cool. we were going through the questions, so I want to go back and find those. Okay. Um, there was one. Let me see. Yes, Nicole, next time you are here, we are having lunch. And we still need to do a Vitality Week where you and Suzanne and and yeah. we all get, Ashley, we all go together. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't planned any other um, Vitality type of trips. Like, this year has gone totally crazy. But definitely yeah. next year. We yeah, need to. for sure. Yeah. Um, Something actually that Nicole asked, she said mm -hmm. that she was really glad that you posted that I feel like shit post. Yeah. Um, and she wants to know if you feel better. Not really. Um, not yet. I'm still, so I did go off that thyroid and I started like huge, huge night sweats and hot flashes and all this stuff. Um, I just went through another round of blood testing and 
most things are okay. Things are still a little off. I'm sleeping better. Um, so that's ginormous. Like when I don't yeah. sleep, I'm just completely oh, yeah. Um, and I have more energy than I had then, but I'm still, you know, kind of down and, and not, not my, my perky motivated self. So I'm still working on that. And, um, you know, the hormone stuff, I, I'm 45. It's, it's going to be a shit show for a few years. So I just have to, I have to figure out the, the mind game piece to just push through it because everybody's got to do it. Right. 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 Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That's, um, certainly a struggle that a lot of people in the family, uh, share yeah. an idea as so. Um, yeah. you know, I mean, that's another thing about this community that we can connect about that stuff too. Um, yeah. Like so much more than, um, yeah. just talking about the workout. Right. Right. Um, it looks like I haven't got all the way back to the beginning yet, but maybe that was the only question that was typed in. That's okay. Um, let me just make sure. Okay. If anyone else has a question, you can type it in right now. Um, we have, I think asked all the questions we had planned. Um, let me just double check. Um, actually, well, oh yeah, we didn't ask this. What would be your advice to someone that is new to the method, um, or not new, but not feeling motivated and consistent, which I realize we all struggle with. Yeah. I was going to say, I, like everyone just keeps telling me, just do it. Just press play, just press play. Right. So I literally even have my alarm when it goes off and I have to look at my phone. It says just press play. Like that's what I, that's what I'm trying to drill into me. So I, I don't know that I have great advice cause I'm not a living breathing example of it, but that's the only thing that, that comes up for me is just press play. What's my favorite movie? I see Nicole just, put, what? Oh, and mom asked how much, if she's asking how much Tracy is, it's $90 a month for the streaming mom. I don't know if that's what you're asking. <laughs> um, favorite movie. Oh Lord. So I'm like hardcore pretty woman. Like that's just one of my all time favorites. Um, what are some other favorite movies? Steel Magnolias. I still cry to this day. I'm a, I'm a huge Julia Roberts fan. Um, I like her a lot. Um, I don't know. Like I actually haven't watched nearly as many movies recently as I, as I want. I have a list. I keep a list in my phone every time I see the name of a movie that I want to watch. And I think there's probably 20 on it right now. <laughs> I, but like, in my head, I go, man, I'd love to just have a whole weekend where I do nothing but sit on my couch and watch movies. But yeah. also in my head, I go, if I were to do that, holy cow, I would never get off the couch. <laughs> like, I would just continue it for weeks on end, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. Someone just asked how long have you both been doing it. So I started in 2015, May of 2015 at the Vitality Week. I don't know about you, Suzanne. Um, I started, I guess, consistently in the fall of 2015, I think. Oh. So we started were. streaming in January of 16. And then, okay. You know, yeah. That's, that's, so yeah. Similar time frames. That's cool. And yeah. look at you. You actually track your times and how many you've done. You're in like the thousands, aren't you? Um, I'm close to a thousand. Yeah, I would have been over a thousand, but the rest days I've taken in the last few weeks are ridiculous. Um, so, seriously. I'm going to have to keep taking some rest days, and I just have to get okay with that. It's just, yeah. you know, something that we have to do. It's it's funny to me that, you know, you do this method, and you have to learn to be consistent, and, and then, then when there's time that you actually <laughs> can't, like when you broke your wrist and stuff, right. like right. the most annoying thing in the world is that you can't do your workout. It's oh, just, yeah. Yeah. It's such an interesting evolution. I know. Like, I remember when my doctor's like, yeah, you can't lift anything with, with that hand. And even when I got my cast off, I'm like, like I, I was literally ready to pick up a weight. And as soon as he took it off, I couldn't even bend it yet. 
like it was so like atrophied and sore yeah. up. and I'm like oh my god I'm nowhere near like being able to yeah. do it and oh it was so frustrating yeah. yeah having to motivate and consistency and then re-motivate and re-consistency and yep. re-motivate and re-consistency <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's I, so I, I see remembers I came over and we talked about it so it's like it just is a constant freaking struggle for me and I hate it yeah yeah you know, I think that, like, one thing that sort of helps is to know that it is a struggle for everyone. Like, even yeah. people that are here, like, yeah. it's very easy for them. They still I wonder, do have a I, I wonder, though, like, Meredith and uh, Loretta, like, I I wonder if it's a struggle for them. I see. Actually, I see a good question for you because you are, like, rock star fitness girl, do it all the time. Is it a struggle? Because I see so many women like, oh, it's been two days and I miss it. I miss it. Like, after two days, I'm like, for the last three days in a row right now, I'm like, oh, I really, really miss it. But does that make me get my ass on the mat? No. Like, I actually want right. to, but I still just have, for whatever reason, something that kicks in that I'm like, oh, not today. Well, and, and I, I think wonder. there's like different phases, too. Like, that... Yeah. You know, sometimes you might have a ton of energy and be super excited about it, mm -hmm. especially depending upon different things that are going on. But then yeah. if other things, you know, you're tired or you're stressed about things, or, and for yeah. some people, it might dive in the workout then, but for others, it's yeah. like become more of a struggle. So yeah. I think even for people, when you get to that point where you're like, okay, I'm craving it every day and stuff, that's fantastic. It doesn't always last forever. Yeah. Um, and Thing. It's her mental health hour that yeah. she never skips. That's really a good way to think about it. Like, yeah. I feel like sometimes we put the pressure on ourselves that, like, I have to do my workout. Yeah. And instead, it's like, I don't have to do my workout. I have to I go enjoy an hour by myself. Yeah. Like, I mean, just think about it in a different way. Yeah, it, exactly. It's the, it starts in your head. And I see... Like, I see May that, you know, gets off a plane after flying for 30 hours or whatever, and she still goes and does it. Like, you know, oh, and yeah. other people post, oh, I'm super pms -y and I'm this and that, but I knew I just had to get on the mat. Like, those are the times where I don't, I don't even struggle at that point. I struggle on a normal day, right? And they still just have that, like Icy said, it's just, it's non-negotiable. And... Mm -hmm. I was, I was in that routine, so I know I've been there, and I know I can do it again, but just, dang it, it is, it is hard for me. Yeah. But it, it is a cycle, and, you know, just I this, know. as much as anything else, is a journey. To, to be honest, like, I'm sitting here thinking, wow, I have literally two weeks before I'm going to be in front of Tracy, so, and I know that once I'm in front of Tracy, that's going to, like, kickstart my butt back big time, so I'm... Today, that's why I'm in my, my TA already, like, I'm going to hang up here and go do it so that it's day one, right? Like, today, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do it until, so at least I can not be a complete dork when yeah. I'm there, right, in two weeks. Yeah. So it's going to be two solid weeks for the next two weeks, and then I know once I'm with everybody and there's a few people that I have chatted with that I know I'm, are going to be there that I'll get to meet in person, so... Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll get, I'll get there. <laughs> well, we'll be here with you throughout the journey, and we'll be checking I in. Know. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're getting close to uh, Instagram's um, cutoff of us at one hour. Um, okay. So is there anything else you would like to um, say to the Tamily while you have this audience? Um. Just, you know, I, I need, I need your support. Like, you know, reach out to me if th this is, this is actually really good. So if I do Tracy, I post it on Instagram. So if you don't see me posting, it means I'm not doing it. Yeah. So that's when you can message me and you can like, please message me or call me, like, I'll give you my number and be like, hey, I, I need those, I need those kicks in the butt, so, um, 
that's that's what I would say is if I haven't posted, it means I haven't done it. Okay. <laughs> that's full I'm exactly the same. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't always post timely, but yeah, if see, there's no post, that's because there was no workout. And <laughs> and I do. I post timely. Like I, if I do it in the morning or if I do it in um, the night. I do it, I post something. It, it may not be like my 10 slides of like great right. move, but yeah. because, yeah. so here's another thing that you'll learn about me. When I, <laughs> when I watch my video, I will only post me doing a move if it's somewhat flattering. Like if it's one where like, like everything just looks ginormous on the screen, okay, I'm not posting that, sorry. Like if it's, yeah. but, if, but if it's one where, where I'm like, you know, up in a bridge and like everything looks super skinny and like my, my triceps pop and I'm like, woo, that one's going on my post. <laughs> it's all about vanity, right? And here I am with no makeup and hair up and so. Right. <laughs> I really appreciate that, though, because I always yeah, look like absolutely. wearing masks, Tamalee, and some people look super beautiful. I'm, I'm, yeah, like, no. I'm in workout mode. So yeah, well, I'm that's – so I actually had on my calendar to work out before we talked, uh -huh. but did I do it? No, I slept another 20 minutes, so that's why it's going to be after, and I'm not all pretty. But, yeah, no, I I post the day that I do it if I, if I do it. Okay. So. That's good to know. Good to know. Well, now you have my secret. <laughs> exactly. I'll be checking up on you. <laughs> yes, please do. Please, please, please. Well, um, you need to go get your workout done. So You're right. You I do. Kick start your two weeks. Yeah. Until Vitality Week, and then yep. we're gonna have to do a follow up. Sure. I definitely want to hear more about your Vitality sure. Week experience yep. and your progress on this journey. Yep. Yep. No problem. I'd love to. Well, thank you so much, Chandra, for being our 10th Ask Tamalee oh, interview. Oh, wow, number 10. Yeah, isn't that exciting? Yeah, um, that's awesome. And for everybody watching, if you missed the beginning, you can go and watch it right now on my story. It'll be up for the next 24 hours, and then we'll also be putting it on YouTube in a few days. Cool. Thank you, Chandra. Thank you, Suzanne. Love you to death. Love you. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye Mom.